Hello folks, welcome to Yardy Belly's Kitchen once again. Today we're going to be doing a Jamaican favorite. Yes, we're doing ackee and corn pork. Normally we'd do ackee and saltfish, which is the national dish. But Jamaicans variations and spices and different things and different type of things. So this time we're doing ackee and corn pork. Now we have a pot of boiling water here and we have added some pimento seeds to it. And now we're going to add the, the ackee. Mind it bunny, mind it bunny. Yeah, the submerged. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So the, this is this aki has been frozen, ladies and gentlemen. In a foreign, when you get aki, you have to freeze it. One all year. For, for as long as you need to use it. So we have to, we, we just, this is raw aki frozen, right? Yeah. So this, uh, this is raw and we freeze it and now, you know, you're putting out the boiling water and reconstitutionize it. All right. So this is the first thing you want to do. You want to boil the aki until it becomes soft or al dente dante. al dente al something till it's soft all right so we're gonna put the aki on the boil and this is the corn pork we're gonna use salt pork see there and we're gonna we're gonna um boil this and fix it up and everything and making a seat when it's ready you see all right, so we have our aki boiling and you can see the water on. Now we have our pork, right? And um, as you can see, we just have to put this in at the boiling water too, right? For that, um, basically, scald off. Them call it scald, but we, we, we boil it. We want to get out most of the salt, as much salt as possible. And I'm putting also a piece of salt fish or cod, salted cod in the boiling water as well and what we're gonna do is just again boil these to get the salt out as much as possible and then we take it to the next step so right now we um we're gonna change the water it's been about what 20 15 minutes or well, 15 minutes yeah we just change the water off of the, the pork and we're basically gonna you know just put new water upon it we still have the aki boiling right here the aki soft it's almost ready almost but not quite almost but not quite situated freeze it started you know a little bit harder for cook and there is really no rule with aki because every tree produces different Aki's and that's some the other cook thing quick yeah so some we can't really tell you how long to right cook it. so some aki cook quick some aki don't cook quick you have some of them called butter aki as you say yeah. a butter aki right some, but see the pork basically we just a boil that now little bit like what the Haitian do when them call when they make grill so we just a go re the idea is to get it um desalinated we want to get out the salt out of it aki we want to get it soft Pork salt, aki salt. Pork salt, aki salt. Pork salt, aki salt. Pork salt, eh, eh, eh. All right. Yeah. Here we have the pork. All right. I just come out of the, come out of the, the fire. So we just want to cut it into them little bite-sized pieces here. Because this are going to fry up. Right? So what you're seeing now is just me prepping. And the prepping aspect of it is important. You know, over here we have, we have maybe half a clove of a big garlic or, or a whole small garlic, uh, not garlic, um, onion. We have about four or five cloves of garlic here. We have two sprigs of thyme or thyme. We have two stalks of scallion or green onion. And we have half of a big tomato or maybe one whole you know um small tomato all right and so me just have, as i said me i cut up the pork you know this is uh the pork skin is soft which indicates that the pork is boiled to a sufficient level all right it might not be 100 percent desalinated because the wife is say she not like when the whole of the salt come out of it so and of course, ladies and gentlemen, remember you might do your thing different in your neck of the woods. This is how we do it round here in Yard Belly's kitchen. We're gonna fry up this now in some 
um, coconut oil and then we start the aki process oh me have to do the salt fish too and then we, we do that all right so salt fish next all the way seasoning them cut up now and everything and pork cut up salt fish prepare now we're going to put some cooking oil in the pot and i'm using coconut oil folks yeah coconut oil may I use and just like add in the pork because the idea behind the pork now is to get the pork to fry up and you have to be careful with this because it will burn you if you're not careful so may I just Spin it around a couple of minutes in the oil and then cover this pot here. We want this, we basically want it fry, we want it fry till it, it sort of crisp. Okay? So we don't really want it, the stove too high because we don't want to burn it up. But at the same time, you know. And you hear it, you hear it, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, that dangerous. Alright? It, that's gonna happen for a while and then we add the rest of stuff so now you see the pork reach to a nice golden brown yeah and we just are gonna start building now on the flavors all right so the pork is ready we're going to put some garlic in real quick and as soon as the garlic starts to get nutty you know We're gonna add our onions in, all right? And we're building on flavors now. Nice, oh, smell good, is it, man? And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt fish that we had there. Just add some salt fish. Nice. You know the wife ever loved that dinner. Yeah? Because she likes happy and salt fish. And the corn pork does feel nice, you know? Yeah. Eh? She said take her back to country days, yeah. Now we're gonna add some tomato. Now if it was back in the days, my mother would have locked on the pot around here and we eat corn pork and, and dumpling and yam and then something for dinner. Because I saw we do it back in Jamaica. It wasn't an overly healthy dinner, but it was nice, nice bad. See there? This almost ready now. At this stage, I'm gonna put the, the thyme or, or, or the thyme in. And you basically just want to pull, pull the, 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 the leaves from the stem, like so. When you pull back on it, you get it off. The tip is, is a little bit more pliable than the, the, the rest of the stem. So, you know. Most people throw in the whole stock, but I mean, I like chomp down from this big stock, you know. So, and I'm using a whole lot of time because, again, it have a very nice flavor. If you have never cooked with, with, with thyme, you need to try. See there? And now I'm gonna get some scotch bonnet. I will keep our scotch bonnet in the freezer. Because we don't want, you know, when you don't want things spoiled too quick, we put the scotch bonnet in the freezer. So here we have a half a scotch bonnet. I'm not gonna use the whole half because the wife not like so much pepper, but 
this is the dish where you really want to taste the pepper, you know. So I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in it. Yeah. Little bit more coconut oil. And now we're going to go for the aki. And you want the aki just fold it in, you understand? And you don't really want to break up the aki. And then something a prize commodity are foreign. <coughs> so with the aki now, you basically want to fold it, just fold it in. Now I have the scallions. I'm using a little, a little garlic powder. Just again for enhancing the flavors. You notice I'm not gonna stir this until everything is in. I'm using a little bit of cayenne pepper not too much not too much and i'm using a little bit of all-purpose seasoning then i get my black pepper and you don't need any salt in this one trust me I get my vinegar and then I do another folding just so as to not break up the ackee too much yeah and then we're gonna put on some some food you know a tip a little water start to create a little juice because um we want gravy to eat the food with you see so we tip a little water and then we turn the stove down and make it go and permeate. Okay, that's my new word in foreign. You have to make it permeate. The last thing I'm gonna add is a little raw unsalted butter and we get this at trader joe's big up trader joe's so we just add a little um and as i said raw unsalted butter because you know say butter not really again it's not the healthiest of dish this but it's a jamaican favorite yeah Make we see how this is going to look when it's done. Folks, the, fit, the food finish, you know? The little food finish. And as you can see, a dumpling and, you know, Irish where I eat it with. So, right now, me, me I share a little food for Carol. Give me bread in. And me stress on the little. I'm not getting a whole leap because the food too nice. 
Yeah, so we are share it out. And this is a real boat food, yard cooking this. You understand? Watch it, watch it, watch it. Look at the pork and the hockey knives, watch it. That, all right, that look like enough, you know. I'm not getting no more. Oh, I feel it, my spirit. Uh, yes, folks, once again, yard the belly in a foreign, yeah? Hockey and corn pork with little, in. with little saltfish to enhance it, yeah? And see the dumpling. Oh, I feel like I want to cry. The food here, yeah, I take life. Hey, once again, join me in the kitchen. Yard the belly in a foreign. I said the things that we go by as we go by so. Hockey in the pot with the corn pork cooking. Hockey in the pot with the corn pork cooking. Oh, jeez, she covered the pot. Hey, yard the belly in a the final, 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 final analysis with Aki and Khan pork and nicely done, nicely pre put together. And me I tell you, me didn't want more dumpling, but you me give us some. Me end up have eight of the little bit of dumpling, you don't? Yeah. Cut the dumpling nice. But once again, folks, you can try it in your neck of the woods. Aki and Khan pork in Yardy Belly Kitchen. It is on fleek. It is on fleeky fleek, 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 fleek. Bless hope.